question is which edition of lyrical ballad was the first one to have preface by wordsworth please do read the question very carefully okay which edition of lyrical ballad was the first one to have the preface by wordsworth yes so the answer uh, for your question yeah it's 1800 answer for your question is 1800 because when your publication is uh, uh, done for the preface what is the year of publication for your preface 1800 or 1802 just uh, see you can check it side by side it's not like that you can check it side by side that uh, uh, what is the year of publication right so uh, you know that the first edition of <clears throat> lyrical ballad is published in 1798 so for which edition of lyrical ballad first published the preface 1800 was having preface the first edition does not have a preface okay the second edition was published in 1800 and that has a preface first edition only have the poems and when uh, coleridge denied to collaborate in the second edition and have charged uh, wordsworth for using such uh, like uh, poetry which are not worthy of the language then he has added a preface justifying his writing his style and language got it yes sir yes ma'am yes so the second edition uh, of 1800 used to have uh, that preface hello ma'am then yes mm -hmm. i take it i take it see 1800 first edition is 1798 in which coleridge and wordsworth has contributed their poem how many uh, poems are contributed by wordsworth and how many and coleridge four poems 24 poems yes and in 1800 and in 1800 the second edition has how many poems ma'am five poems by coleridge coleridge and he denied to contribute other poems or he denied to contribute uh, more poems in that so it's like he uh, the because he gave a reason that i don't want to contribute because i don't understand why you are using such a simple language and uh, the similar kind of concepts and subjects then he gave, wrote a preface for the 1800 that is second edition of lyrical ballad justifying his style subject and language got it okay now second question yes it's 18 but it is 1800 1801 it's like that only matlab it used to be written in that form uh if i say it's like it is written in this form only oh sorry fine it's like 18 ha so it whatever year it is but the edition is second just do uh, clear with this thing that is why they didn't ask that in which year preface is published they ask with which edition the preface is published okay because sometime it's like 1800 1800 one sometime they don't have a clear idea about it fine now next next question in which of the following in which of the following uh, pair terms the relationship between the active and passive form of a sentence can be established that is of elt yeah that is of elt ah it's like active and passive form of sentence can be established in which form please 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 do understand the question in which of the following paired terms the relationship between the active and passive form of sentences you are talking about second is the sign signifier how sign and signifier uh, can be like uh, uh, an active passive form sign signifier cannot be active passive form metaphor and metonymy did you what happen yes it's a structural see i talk told you that there are two types of sentences are here 
sorry uh, there are two parts of uh, structuralism or you can say linguistics are there one is semiotics and second is yes what is semiotics is all about science of what science science of science it's like the study of science it is a study of science and second is semantics semantics is study of sentences that is language structure so uh, this uh, sign signifier metaphor metronomy syntactic and pragmatic that these are all part of see these two are part of semantics because metaphor and metonymy used to symbolize something they are example they are comparisons na if we i'm saying he is brave or if i am saying brave is a adjective besides brave if i am saying he is hercules so if he is hercules means he is daring he is brave he is physically very fit so i am using a metaphor to uh, compare uh, someone that is a symbol so hercules become a symbol of a bravery and uh, uh, physical fitness or dare dare or something right similarly with the metonymy what is metonymy a one word which is sub substituted by the other one to one substitution is metonymy sign signifier is the same thing they all both belong to semiotic pragmatic and syntactic are sentence structure how many types of sentence sentence structure i have taught you yes divya diachronic and synchronic forget na bhul gaye na beta no ma'am <laughs> to phir kahan chale gaye the i told you about diachronic and synchronic yaad aa raha hai लिंग्विस्टिक्स में सॉसुर में करवाया था डायक्रॉनिक एंड सिंक्रॉनिक तो व्हाट इज डायक्रॉनिक विद टाइम हिस्टोरिकली 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 डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अ लैंग्वेज इज डायक्रॉनिक व्हाट इज सिंक्रॉनिक इन अ पर्टिकुलर यस डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अ लैंग्वेज इन अ पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम दैट इज सिंक्रॉनिक एंड व्हाट इज सिस्टमैटिक दैट इज सिंटेक्मैटिक लाइक सेंटेंस स्ट्रक्चर इंप्रूवमेंट और चेंजेस इन अ सेंटेंस स्ट्रक्चर एंड प्रैग्मैटिक yes what is pragmatic then pragmatic is natural way mein in a uh, natural way when a language gets in a change or puts itself in a change of uh, when a language uh, went through a change in a natural way right along with the time in the passage of time it is changing with the passage of time naturally without putting any kind of uh, uh, like uh, manual effort to it that is pragmatic Like example in that uh, how we are sp speaking English in a uh, older time when we just learn it and now when we are listening how people are speaking and we have moduled our way of speaking a language naturally we have developed the tone right uh, like uh, a very simple example is mother tongue influence that is pragmatic according to your surrounding how you are behaving with the language that is pragmatic. but this is paradigmatic sorry it is not pragmatic pragmatic uh, development is uh, according to the natural and paradigmatic <coughs> paradigmatic change of language that's smooth paradigmatic is uh, change in the system of language grammatical changes okay and uh, syntactic is sentence structure changes in the sentence structure and uh, paradigmatic is grammatical changes so what are the two types of sentences which comes into the relationship like in active and passive form that is deep structure and surface structure theek hai when you know only surface structure you cannot change the form of a subject into another if you have a knowledge of deep structure then you can understand active passive direct indirect any kind of speeches and can establish a relationship between it got it yes everyone are you getting the point yes how linguistic yes how linguistics will work and how this is a question of theory fine usha please mute your mic thank you now uh, the medieval english university organize any question regarding question number 2 <coughs> yes is it clear to everyone all of you are not answering yes hmm now third question the medieval english university organizes a study based on a seven liberal arts three of these the trivium refer to the study of 
grammar logic and this is here people are asking for okay. entering into the room yes so that is grammar logic and rhetoric the medieval english university organizes a study based on seven liberal arts three of the them are the trivium that is called trivium trivium is grammar logic and rhetoric they don't understand uh, geometry at that time they don't understand arithmetic they don't understand astronomy got it in the language in the language these are not the part now music can be a part if you see that poetry was there we can uh, miss uh, interpret it as a music uh, sometime also but yes uh, astronomy astrology arithmetic geometry cannot be a part of english language or liberal art they are sciences right all these three are sciences and mathematics now fourth question is match the following so in match the following there are the pairs image music text why marx was right the mirror and the lamp culture and society these are the works and these are the writers so what is the ha huh? culture and so, culture and society is yes we have done it in the cultural studies right if you remember we have taken this society and then uh this the mirror and lamp mh the mh abraham why marx was right was terry eagleton because it was a marxist work yes music and art rona rola bath rola bath is ka work batao anyone yes death of an author the very famous work for literature right so your answer is four yes writing degree zero yes writing degree zero is very important work now which one of the following group of novelist has in the given order captain ahab hester pren uh, rodrick asher daisy miller as a character in his in their novels so you have four characters and in the chronological sequence you have to find out first of all just tell me the names of the novel no no don't tell me the option just Herbert Melville the book the name of the book is first is silence captain ahab is in herman melville work name of the work name of the work yes moby dick moby dick moby dick yes it is in moby dick herman melville theek hai okay so first is herman melville ये टू आंसर वैसे ही बन गया आपका सेकेंड इज हेस्टरब्रेन हेस्टरब्रेन इज अ कैरेक्टर इन स्कॉलेट लेटर यस एंड द राइटर इज निथानियल हॉथ्रॉन देन रॉड्रिक अशर फॉल ऑफ द हाउस ऑफ अशर यस एडगर एल एन पो इट्स अ ग्रोटेस्टिक स्टोरी ठीक है इट इज अ शॉर्ट स्टोरी विच विच इज बीन पब्लिश इन द कलेक्शन ऑफ ग्रोटेस्क एंड अर्बेस्क देन डेजी मिलर नो Daisy Miller, Daisy Miller, Wings of Dove, Henry James. Yes, Daisy Miller, Wings of Dove. Okay, नहीं बेटा ये Wings of Dove की Daisy Miller नहीं है उसमें Daisy Miller नहीं है. This is what Daisy know. It is a novella. What Daisy know? This is the option. Daisy Miller is a character of Henry James. James. That is a. It's an ha by the same name Daisy Miller is a, a title or character also, but he has used it in the portrait of a lady as well. Okay, so Daisy Miller is a character in portrait of a lady. Daisy is a character that is not a Miller, but Daisy is a character in what uh, uh, Daisy? No, no, what Massey knew? I would do. Sorry, Daisy Miller is a character in the portrait of the lady, and Daisy Miller itself is a novel. Okay, there are two novels in which he has used the same character. So, second is the answer, and all the novels and characters are clear to everyone. Now, sixth question: match the following items or ideas uh, with the writers who first used or popularized them. Hmm. The frontier thesis is Turner. Okay, the lost generation is Gertrude Stein. Third is Pace. 
Homi ke Baba and his structure of feeling, Raymond Williams. We know the three, but uh, if you don't know the her, uh, Prantia thesis, then it can be uh, guessed. Okay. So your answer is three, right? Okay. Now next question, question number seven. Uh, who wrote a guide called how to write a doctoral thesis, the humanities subject considered equal in its standard to American MLS handbook or Chicago manual of style. Who wrote a guide called how to write a doctoral thesis? Yes, this is Umberto Eco who has talked about the uh, MLS handbook. That is the most uh, popular one and we used to follow the MLS Hand, uh, handbook style right or APA MLA or APA is used to uh, very popular for the scholar now for which uh, one of the following reason in Oscar Wilde's novel the picture of Dorian Gray Gray breaks down when he sees his finished portrait he was overwhelmed by the beauty yes destroyed by the fact that his beauty will fade while the portrait stays beautiful uh, overjoyed by the feeling that his beauty will be known to all or drought, uh, sorry, distraught by uh, the badly drawn portrait. It was like when he saw the first time the finished portrait, what happens to him? He was distraught by the fact that his beauty will fade but not of the portrait. Then what the uh, uh, that person did? Yes, he stabbed the portrait that was done by uh, the person, uh, Dorian Gray itself, yes. But what what the, po uh, sorry, the painter did when he saw that he got painted and uh, was overwhelmed by the fact, but distraught by the uh, fact that uh, his painting will remain beautiful but not him. Then what exactly he did? He did the magic and he blessed him that you will remain beautiful but portray will fade. Right? And that happens that he was beautiful but the portray was aging. But when he saw that my portrait is such a uh, like uh, ugly, uh, so is it me? He stabbed it and he died ugly and the portray again came back to its beauty. Okay? He put the soul of his into the portrait. Now, what is the priest's entity to Oedipus in the opening scene of Oedipus Rex? Right? Let me get you. Second one. That is to rid Thebes of the plague that afflicts its people. So, to liberate Thebes from the dominion of Spinex, to afford the Thebians the luxury of the newer uh, form of worship to uh, send Creon to seek advice of the oracle of Delphi uh, oracle okay and who what is the name of the oracle huh it's Tiresias Tiresias yes it's Tiresias not Tiresias it's Tiresias so he made it that the child is cursed and to get rid the thieves out of the plague you have to do something with the uh, kid. Okay. Now, which artist technique best describe the interplay of light and shades in the following lines? Which artist technique best describe these, uh, the interplay of light and shade in the following lines? Collage, flashback, montaigne and uh, chiaroscuro. Chiaroscuro. Yes. Hmm. It's no, it's not flashback. I dekho na. I have looked at it so uh, long. I think it is a part of my heart, but it flickers. Faces and darkness separate us over and over. A woman bent over me, searching my uh, reaches, searching my reaches for what she really is. Then she turns to those liars, the candle or the moon. I saw her back reflects it faithfully. What was that? Okay. It's like you have to choose uh, just uh, which artistic technique. That is what is the literary device is all. 
कोलाज में देर आर सो मेनी इमेजेस यूज टू पुट along with it's not a collage it's not a flashback he is not uh, remembering something which has happened in uh like uh, past uh montage i'll tell you but uh this uh, chiros curo is a art to use of a strong contrast between light and dark and that is being taken here that is a contrast between light and dark montage is a picture uh, is a piece of music that consists of many separate items put together so yahan pe in montage we used to take different different images but uh, they doesn't have any relationship in between but we are we used to put it all together in uh, chiaroscuro we used to compare things with the darkness and light and that is being done here candle and moon darkness separators over and over right a woman bend over me and something so this is write down the fourth is the option chiaroscuro is something which is been compared with light and darkness okay now next which two titles from uh, among the following deal with issues related to institutionalization of english in post independence india which two titles among the following deals with the issue related to institutionalization of english when why english is being institutionalized or become a part of uh, indian studies in post independent india first is provocation what is the meaning of provocations yes what is the meaning of provocations how you will find out the correct answers then yes ha wo theek hai ki excitement is there but like when we are doing something deliberately it became a part it uh, was made a part of uh, uh, indian studies by pre in the pre independent uh, government in the pre independent india so now uh, it's again being a part matlab we have not removed it so it was continued in a very deliberate way in a uh, continuation of uh, um, uh, studies like as it is like we are not changing many rules and laws just because okay fine we are fine with it and there is no harm of conducting it we are doing it so that is also provocatively provok matlab ki something should be forced upon and another thing is ki uh, we are doing it in a very deliberate uh, way that okay fine if it is a part of the studies let it be so in the same way provocations are there that we have made it a part of indian studies students are reading it and they are knowing a language they are knowing the literature and we have not removed it that's it and third is the lie of the land third uh, issue is the lie of the land is that we were liking the language it was a easier language and it was imposed on us by the um, uh, government and it was not easy for us to remove it from the whole structure of indian education as it was implanted by the uh, british government in such a way right उन्होंने गवर्नमेंट ने इसको इस तरीके से इसका पार्ट बना दिया था कि वो चेंज नहीं किया जा सकता था सो दीज आर द टू टाइटल्स दैट आर दैट कैन बी लाइक वी कैन रिलेटेड टू द पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंस इंडिया प्रोवोकेशन एंड लाइफ ऑफ द लैंड दीज आर द वर्क ओके एंड राइट डाउन द नेम ऑफ द राइटर हुज वर्क आर दीज जस्ट अ मिनिट प्रोवोकेशन एंड द लाइ ऑफ द लैंड द लाइ ऑफ द लैंड इज अ बुक by amanda craig it's a book by amanda craig a british novelist and journalist a british novelist and journalist and provocations is a book by camille pagelia is a book by camille pagelia an american feminist writer and critic an american feminist writer and critic fine so these are the two titles uh, which are very much related to the imposement of english or you can say 
इंस्टीट्यूशनलाइजेशन ऑफ इंग्लिश इन पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंस इंडिया एंड इन बोथ द वर्क दीज राइटर्स हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट इट दैट हाउ इंग्लिश हैज बिकम अ मेजर पार्ट ऑफ दीज सॉरी इंडियन स्टडीज ओके लाइफ ऑफ द लैंड इज बाय अमंदा क्रेग क्रेग अ ब्रिटिश राइटर बाय विच टू ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्रोसेसेस according to michel foucault does power operate by normalization rather than law okay yes that is in the work kaun sa work hai michel foucault ka batao what is the name of his work by normalization rather than law and by control rather than punishment punishment yes just do tell me the name of the works by मिशाल फूको नो वन नोज क्राइम एंड पनिशमेंट इज अ वर्क बाय मिशाल फूको बाय इट इज डिसिप्लिन एंड पनिशमेंट नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फाइव दिस पर्टिकुलर आइडिया और दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम हिज वर्क डिसिप्लिन एंड पनिशमेंट नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फाइव यू कैन राइट डाउन नोट डाउन द क्वेश्चन नंबर and note down whatever i am telling you and then when uh, after the class i will send you the question paper you all can tally it accordingly okay that is from discipline and punishment 1975 now next is which of the following book are written by the english man in universal latin is further added to the flemish peter gills is revised by a dutch uh, erasmus is printed at louvanian in 1516 later at paris is still at uh, basle uh, where it was illustrated by two woodcuts from the hand of german holbein which of the following books are written by the english man in universal latin it should be book yeah it's a utopia who is the writer thomas more yes thomas more. thomas more and it was first published in 1916 okay ha 1516 sorry 1916 okay then the sadler commission report that is again from your uh, unit 6 english and in india the sadler commission report 1917 1990 uh, was critical to critical of the quality of students graduating from the university and had very descriptive remark on english and the use of mother tongue in english education what was this commission appointed for the sadler commission was appointed for which studies or for or what kind of calculation the sadler commission yes to study the problems of calcutta university if uh, uh, you all are watching my video on youtube then in the uh, playlist of higher studies and the standardization of language i have discussed about all these commissions their uh, respective motives their uh, like uh, reason for the appointment the result of the appointment and what are the important points you all have to read in your english in india unit that all has been discussed by me even that is useful for your higher education paper 1 so uh, if you are not following the channel if you are not watching the video then please do start watching it because in a very brief way i have given you a lot of material for that that playlist i think have a 6 to 7 lectures in which i have uh, briefed about all these commissions their motives and their results okay so uh, please do watch it on youtube if you haven't till now those who have it attended my classes or are not attending it they can do it now who says the following lines and to whom uh if it be or toward the general good set honor in one eye and death i the other and i will look on both differently octavius to antony hamlet to claudius brutus to cassius casca to calpurnia yes julius caesar that is in julius caesar right uh, he said that if 
it be or toward the general good general good is like in the favor of the general public of roman empire set honor in one eye and death i the other and i will look on both indifferently he right now i am with you but if you went against me then i can be a, i can behave differently right now i am supporting you but later i won't so he was uh, saying it to caesius okay now who is the author of the short story the ghost of firoza bag yes it's rohintan mystery your diasporic indian canadian writer in which of the following sociologist idea on the practice of receiving and giving gifts are used by j hills miller to reinforce her argument in the essay critique as host whose idea he has used no marshall mauss the german one theek hai j h miller has used the idea of marshall uh, mauss and uh, he he is the sociologist whose idea on the practice of giving and receiving gifts are being used by him now what in sum is sydney's point of the following yes uh that i have to see because he is a sociologist so i don't know but it is it was used by him i can give you an idea just a minute uh marshall mauss uh sorry not german but he is a french uh sociologist and he is known as father of french ethnology and sociology he is known as father of french ethnology and sociology and his work is the gift 1925 his work is the gift 1925 what in sum is sydney's point of point in the following a uh, nature never set forth the earth in so rich tapestry as diverse poets have done neither with pleasant rivers fruitful trees sweets a smelling flower not whatever else may make the too much loved art more lovely her world is brazen the poet only deliver a golden that is by philip sydney and what he exactly wants to say in that yes work of art are superior to the natural world they presented why positive way and in a more more imaginative and beautiful way The the yes, a flower can be beautiful, but if it is represented by a poet or a painter, it can be more beautiful, right? Yes, and uh, whose theory it is on a beginning? This one that uh, our work of art is superior to the natural world. Whose theory he has taken to uh, display his idea? Yeah, it's it's of Aristotle. It's of Aristotle. okay because he called a poetry as a speaking picture and uh, the work of uh, sorry in the theory of imitation he said it okay that the life is a base of imitation uh, in elias the love song of j alfred prufrock who among the following painter is the subject of conversation among the preambulating women it's michael angelo yes definitely it's michael angelo and uh, uh, who are the poets was uh, followed by few a uh, major group of victorian poets raphael so raphael right now and uh, william blake was a fan of which of the painter william blake was a fan of which of the painters yeah raphael and michael angelo but he used the paintings of michael angelo for his printings okay Hamlet is an artistic failure. That is the answer, but I haven't read the question properly. What is the question? Okay, which of the following is statement best describe the T. S. Eliot statement that Hamlet is an artistic failure? So the answer is Hamlet's emotion is not adequately objectified. So he called it as a as a failure of Shakespeare rather than a character. From which Greek word does the term comedy derived and uh what does it mean? comedia rebel song yes which reveal the personality of 
human being and that is why it is comedy of humor uh, he talked about the all kind of comedies or the humors presented in a man uh, which of the following plays characterized by the exclusivity of a single character talking to himself yes in which of the following play is characterized by the exclusivity of a single character talking to himself a street car named desire is there anyone who is talking to himself no there is no soliloquy in equus that is a play i have to see it the misanthrope is a play by who is the writer of the misanthrope this is a very a uh, popular play no moliere a french uh, playwright moliere and there is no yeah there is no soliloquy because it's a comedy then equus a uh, play equus play, play is by daniel the playwright is peter shoffer peter shoffer the character is and uh, it's a play yeah equus is a play by peter shoffer and it is a representation matlab equus means uh, horse it's a uh, pathological uh, representation of a young man through a horse and uh, the writer peter shoffer peter shaffer is a english playwright okay he is a post modern or you can say a contemporary uh, in english playwright so that is also in a option now crap's last tape who is the writer of that play it's a very samuel. samuel beckett so now who has given the single character talking to himself who has used this technique of monologue and soliloquy samuel beckett has used it now right uh because it was his favorite technique of using giving a monologue or talking to themselves okay which of the following a uh, novel of no, james no, no. yes no, no. uh the street car named desire is that uh, tennessee williams right it's from tennessee williams yeah it's tennessee williams american playwright you have done it in your americans forget it maki divya maki have you forget it that we have done it's it in the acha har mingling because this is a very major play and we have done it in uh, american so uh, which one of the following novel of dean austen was abandoned unfinished yes what is the last one not anger persuasion persuasion not anger ab is a complete one okay and watson can also be an option but uh, yes what's watson is an option yeah it's watson it's a uh, incomplete yes abandoned and unfinished but persuasion she has uh, ha it was not abandoned but it was the last one yes now match the following the characters with the novels kate florence miss havisham agnes miss havisham very good agnes florence kate ha huh? second one is the answer but you are not telling me the options kate kate belongs to which uh, novel nicholas nickelby florence florence is from dombey and son okay okay and miss havisham agnes is of david copperfield david copperfield yeah she was the one na david copperfield mein she was the one who wants to marry him so you should know at least the, Agnes was the girl now uh, wanted to marry David uh yeah which of the following correctly describe black humor as morbid and provocative treatment of death and disease black humor as a morbid and provocative treatment of death and disease the english the great english novelist R. Jane Austen, George Eliot, Henry James, Joseph Conrad. Which of the following critical text begin with the above assertion? ये तो तुम बिना नाम देखे भी बता सकते हो. Yes. Very good. Very good. And whom he has left and said they are not the part of great tradition of novel writing? Hardy. Hardy and Hardy Dickens. Yes. Uh, who among the following established the popularized uh, established and popularized the concept of cardinal vowels 
CJ, yes, it's CJ. No, Cardinal Vogels. Yeah, it's no, it's uh, Daniel Jones. Jones. Cardinal Vogel is established and popularized by the uh, sorry popularized the concept of Cardinal Vogel. Let me check if I'm wrong. Uh, that is Cardinal Vogel's uh, Daniel Jones in early 20th century. Okay, you can find out that who has established it. It's Daniel Jones. Now, what is the name of the poetic style characterized by short stack? Uh, sorry. Taketo rhymed lines as shown below. Taconic is this taco rhyme lines as shown below. Uh, what can it avail to drive forth a snail or to make a sail or a horizon tail or her horizon tail? Okay. So, whose uh, poetic style is that? What is the name of the po uh, poetic style? Skeletonical. Yes, skeletonic. Okay. So, uh, what is being described by Wordsworth in following lines from the from his poem, the throne, the thorn? What he wanted to describe here? I have measured it from side to side. Yeah. It's three feet long. Yeah, in fence grave. It's three feet long and two feet wide. Yes. It's not a cradle, it's a grave. Okay, now 30th question. Who among the following is more moaned on the wall? Which means O caption. Uh, yeah, it's Abraham Lincoln. Yes, yes. The last temptation is the greatest. Yes, the last temptation is the greatest treasure to do. Right deeds for the wrong reason. T.S. Eliot murder in cathedral. The last temptation is the greatest treasure. They have talked about the four treasure or four temptation to Samuel Beckett in the uh, this uh, play, Murder in Cathedral. And he talked about the final last temptation is the greatest temptation to do the right deed for the wrong reason. What was the temptation? It is only self-serving. Self what was the self-serving means? Yeah. It's martyrdom. So, he talked about the right deed but for the wrong reason. And he said martyrdom cannot be uh, given to anyone but it can be only achieved. So, he denied for this only, this also. Okay. And which of the following work is reviewed in George Orwell's essay Inside the Whale? Tropic of Cancer. Yes. Tropic of Cancer in which he talked about the English studies or Use of English language in Indian or Asian region. That is topic of cancer. Okay. Which one of, uh, sorry, which of the following is the accurate description of the dramatic irony? A character's knowledge or expectation in contradiction uh, by what the audience know or by the outcome of event. An audience know or expect something to happen, but the event on a stage turn out to be different. Ironic event or expectation of actual action and result coverage in drama and the audience feels rewarded. A dramatist irony reinforces his actor's performances, performance thereby fulfilling audience. Actor's knowledge or expectation. Yes, that is dramatic irony. He what the character's knowledge or expectation is, con when the character's knowledge and expectation is contradicted what the audience knows. Audience kya janti hai, kya samaj rahi hai, kya us event se nikalna chahti hai, but that is completely opposite, uh, is there from the character's knowledge and expectation. That, sorry, by, uh, can be seen by the character's action. That is dramatic irony. What they are expecting from the drama and what happens. Okay? Irony is contradiction. Read the following lines. And which of the following poetic program is illustrated by the line? In a station of the metro. Uh, the metro. Image. Okay. The apparition of these faces in the crowd petals on a wet black bow. Yes. Imagism. Imagism. What was Grimesky's term? The cultural uh, consensus supporting capitalism. Hegemony. 
Antonio Gramsci's term is hegemony. What is the meaning of hegemony? True. Hierarchical order. From which country Antonio Gramsci, or from which era Antonio Gramsci belongs to? To which country and era he belong to? German. No, German. Antonio Gramsci is not a German. I told you some of the figures by which you can identify the names and their belongings. Antonio Gramsci. It is ending with I. Italian. Yes. If a name is ending with O or I, they are most probably from Italian, Spanish, or the like. Somebody's mic is open. Yes. Uh, it belongs to uh, somewhere like from uh, the southern part of Europe. Okay, Spain, Portugal, or um, Italy, Rome. These are the names. Okay, and uh, if it is, uh, it belongs to like A U double S. That is French German names. Most probably are like that. Okay, double T, double E, double S. So they are most probably French and German names. Okay, so uh, now, uh, yes, the question thirty-six. Which type of textual copy is concerned with an assessment of uh, physical details of the book and their exact relationship uh, to the condition in which the book was planned to appear at the time of its initial publication? Base copy कैसे हो सकता है? That can be a manuscript. That can be yes. It can be ideal copy. You cannot give the real copy to a publisher to publish because that will be your own copy, and you can uh, claim the copyright only by the real copy. The base copy is the first draft of your book. You cannot do it. An initial copy is the same word. That is the first draft. The base copy is maybe the plot or something on which you have tried to write. So these both are like very much similar, but the real copy is the finalized real copy which you have to keep, and you are giving him the ideal copy. Okay? Uh, who is the author of the essay, the rational of the copy text? W. W. Greg. Can you tell me about him something? If you are so sure about the answer, just study him. के बारे में और you just know the answer only. अच्छा ठीक है कोई बात नहीं आई टेल यू डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू ग्रेग इज अ लिटरेरी क्रिटिक ऑफ सॉरी ही इज अ फेमस शेक्सपीरियन लिटरेरी क्रिटिक अ ब्रिटिश शेक्सपीरियन लिटरेरी क्रिटिक ऑफ ट्वेंटी एथ सेंचुरी हु इज बेसिकली अ बिब्लियोग्राफर हु इज बेसिकली अ बिब्लियोग्राफर एंड हैज रिटन मेनी मैनी क्रिटिसिजम ऑफ शेक्सपियर्स प्ले and has written many criticism on shakespeare's play and university wits and university wits theek hai he targeted university wits and shakespeare's play for that now uh, to see him act is like shakespeare by flashes of lightning about which shakespeare actor Coleridge wrote the above line. To see him act is like Sh David. Yes, about which Shakespeare actor Coleridge wrote the above line? That is David Garrick. Okay, he tried to act like Shakespeare. Now, which of the following uh, of the Plato's belief act was Shelley's countering by? Saying that poets are the unacknowledged legislator of the mankind. Banishment of poets from the republic. Yes. Which of the following aptly named the language resulting from the contact of two mutually unintelligible language system? Which question? एक बार दोबारा पढ़ो. Which of the following aptly named the language resulting from the contact of two Mutually unintelligible language system. Pidgin nahi hota, pidgin hota hai. Unintelligible is liye because this is a business language, and that the motive of this language is just to do business, and there is no logic and intelligence is being used. So this is a business language for the communication of the people 
who are known not if uh, known uh, native speakers like they don't have a common language in between so they develop a language with the contact of the two languages uh, of each other to develop their business got it that is pidgin and creole is a mixture of more than two languages fine what is a dialect of particular geographical geographical region regional language regional language is colloquial dialect is belong to a uh, dialect is a language of a bigger geographical region i told you the difference between colloquial language vernacular dialect fir uske bawajood you are making mistakes i do not take it maki and shweta devya please you are a students and i have taught you all the 12 kind of languages you are not turning the pages of your register or the notes or you are taking it bolo are you reading your notes or not now after the solving of this question paper you can solve it yes what about maki and divya okay i am unable to see all the names so whatever is coming on my uh, screen i am just taking those names so uh, the students whose name i am not taking please don't feel like ma'am has uh, ma'am is not taking our uh, name but i can see only four five names on my screen right now that is what i am taking okay please don't feel offended and you can participate also in giving me answers and can ask questions also please i'll okay, i can say that i will like to have answers from all of you culture is ordinary that is the first fact which uh, one of the following of is the source of this statement the country and the state aha uh -huh. culture is ordinary that is the first fact no it's not country and the city the yeah it's resources of hope but who is the writer who is the writer raymond williams again he is the writer but the name of the work you are taking is wrong it's resources of hope the statement is from that now which one of the following poet uh, uh, does william hazlitt call don quito like in his essay my first acquaintance with poets is it wordsworth yes william hazlitt called don quito like why he compared him with don quito no the don quito is the first language uh, sorry first novel uh, on the subject of exploration no, nature. nature exploration yes now which of the following two points were emphasized by wood's dispatch 1854 i'm sure i told you and i i taught you i think this no 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 i didn't told you no this was taken by sir no. i think yeah but again i'm saying that a those a and d yes, is a right answer but still i'm saying if you are confused in this unit please do watch those uh, uh, those videos i have just given a very summed up and very calculative things in that that will help you in paper 1 and paper 2 both Te <coughs> sorry teaching of english language along with the study of vernacular language and then the importance of female education what this patch was about that because this time Swami Vivekananda and Raja Ram Mohan Rai was there, and they both talked about. It. So, which novel by J. G. Uh, Farrell described the experience of polio victim? Yes, the lung. Uh, which of uh, in which of the Anita Desai's novel does the insane wife killed her husband? What was the name of the wife? Maya, and the husband? Gautam. Gautam. Right. Uh, given below are the two statement one is labeled as assertion and second is by reason instances of belief triggering action are present in social life and may give rise to problems in determining casualties beliefs may not be accompanied by or give rise to logically appropriate actions and actions may occur which are consistent with motivation and intention but they often is not usually also have un uh, anticipated outcomes in the light of the above two statement choose the correct option 
so here first is about uh, like uh, instances of brief uh, sorry beliefs triggering action are present in social life and may give rise to the problem in determining casualties so that is from the theory which theory cultural studies and now the assertion sorry the reason is belief may not be accompanied by or give rise to logically appropriate action and actions may occur which are consistent and motivation and intentions but they often is not usually also have anticipated outcome so what is the answer yes r is correct explanation that's right yes so what according to raymond williams is the right description of term cultural materialism ha huh? the material effect that cultural has in a wider social life i told you this statement yeah, I said yes Second. yes cultural materialism where the material effect the culture yeah. right theek hai so uh, which of the following statement is true in term of distribution of metrical feet which of the following statement is true in terms of distribution of metrical feet anapestic is to dactyle as trochoic is to iambic trochoic is to anapestic as dactyle is to iambic iambic is to trochoic as anapestic to dactylic dactylic is to trochoic yes third one like that is anistress stress this is stress anistress anapestic anistress anistress stress and this is stress anistress anastress right the completely opposite to each other now very big question this is passes to nahi nahi all in the world know the beauty of the beautiful and in doing this they have what ugliness is they all know the skill of the skillful and in doing this they have what they want of the skill is so it is the existence and non existence gave birth to the other that difficulty and ease produce the other that the length and shortness fashion out the one figure of the other that height and lowness arise from the contrast of one with other and the uh, musical notes and tones become harmonious through the relationship of one and other and uh, that being before and behind give the idea of one following another which one of the following is correct remaining the omnius little phrase the ideal of in the first sentence of the passage second answer ma'am prior imagination okay just now make me understand how you have guessed the answer or whether you have the answer key i don't know now tell me what is the logic behind this question and how you have identified the answer yes fast hmm the idea of praise is there yes the idea i have an idea of it that is prior knowledge it cannot be imagination who among the following analyze ab itna bada passage aur wo bhi aise aise denge to bachcha confuse ho jayega main hi ho gayi who among the following analyze the naturalization of a uh, connotative meaning into myth yes it's michel it's michel 50 it's rola bartis yeah that has given the connotative meaning of myths theek hai inka and denotative meaning yes connotative and denotative meaning is being given by him only yes so uh next question match the following do it ab main tumhe first second third kuch nahi bata rahi hu aur na tum bataoge tum sirf mujhe match the following bataoge i'm not able to just ek minute ha kaun sa sign is a feminist writing an obsidian cleo intervention that is african diaspora and cleo intervention so c for four signs is for Three. Let's see the options. C for four, D for three. This is A, right? This is A. 
Now, who among the following explode the shifting and contrasting power relationship, power relations knowledge and human body? Michel Foucault has talked about the power relation knowledge and human body in which work. Work ka naam batao na. Contested with power relationship, knowledge and human body. Hmm. Inke kaun kaun se hai famous works? Abhi kaun sa bataya tha mainne aapko? Discipline and punishment and this is from the order of the things. Okay? The order of the things, 1960. Now match the following. Farts, props, music hall, closet drama. What is a closet drama? Drama written to be read, not for acted. Yes. And farce? Farce is variety in English. Of song, comic turns that flourish in England in late 19th century. Is there no farce before that? Yes. Wild, antique, slapstick, etc. That is farce. Yes. Props? Yes. And music hall are the variety and entertainment of song turns that flourish, right? The music halls are like opera that is being developed lately, but it was like opera because opera has already been there. So, what is the answer? Farce one is for three, so that is two is the answer. Uh, what is the meaning of the Ziauddin Sadar's statement? Cultural studies it stated as a uh, dissenting intellectual tradition outside academy, academia, dedicating to expose power in all its cultural form, but it uh, has now become a discipline and a part of academic establishment and its power. Cultural state studies is stated as a dissenting intellectual tradition outside academia. That is institutionalization. What is the meaning of this statement? It's not uh, devolution or displacement or dissension. That is, it's not uh, like what is devolution? When something got reversed to evolution, right? So it's not about that. It is not about displacement. It is not about dissension, but about institutionalization that is coming into the culture. Okay? So, who uh, is referred to as best in the court? Kill the beast, cut his throat, spill his blood in the golden lord of lies. Uh, he was uh, being killed, right? Simon was killed now. Who has read it thoroughly? Who killed him? Raj. What is the meaning of Lang in Saussurian linguistics? Individually, speech act. Speech acts. No, that is parole. An organized system of differences, no. Bataya to tha, language in abstract sense, that is a written form of language. That is Lang. And parole is a speech uh, system of someone. So, what uh, term used by Ferdinand Saussure correspond to Noam Chomsky's term performance? Parole. Parole. And Lang is for competence. Ye bhi dhyan rakhna agar Lang ka question hota hai, ye to yaan pe kya aata? Competence. Competence. Yeah. Which one of the following correctly describe the meaning of Macbeth's words? Life is but a walking shadow. Life is just devoid of substance. Life is just devoid of substance. substance. Life is just devoid of substance. That there is nothing permanent in the world. Identify the two names from the following who are associated with hermeneutics. It's so it's is Russell and it's Russell and Hager. It's Russell and Hager. Yes. Uh, why did T. S. Eliot assert that Virgil, not Homer, is the poet of Europe? Who is Virgil? There are some. There are some initial moral concerns in Virgil. Yes, because uh, Homer, Homer talked about sexuality. He talked about the elopement, love immoral things but Virgil has not talked about any such things but he said that the Trojans are the uh, people who used to follow the morality as any did and he didn't stolen anyone's wife like Dido. Dido uh, said not that she is in love with any and he could have married her and can establish the Trojan race over Carthage but he 
denied it, he didn't use it, he didn't uh, loved it, he didn't eloped with him, he didn't take any kind of adv uh, advances toward her, right? Now, identify the stage that falls between the imaginary and symbolic stage according to Yeats Lakar. Between medieval it, stage. It's not medieval stage, it's middle. Middle stage. Yeah, it's middle stage. Or koi naam ho sakta hai iska? Yaha pe ye galat likha hai minor, it's mirror. Thik hai, ye galat print hua hai. It's mirror stage. ठीक है क्वेश्चन पेपर में शायद राइट हो यहाँ टाइप करने में शायद गलती हुई है क्योंकि ये पूरा क्वेश्चन पेपर ना टाइप करवाया है इसीलिए कहीं कहीं पे स्पेसेस नहीं है क्वेश्चन पेपर सही था ठीक है दैट इज वाई द फर्स्ट लेटर ऑफ द नेम इज ऑल्सो स्मॉल क्योंकि वो क्वेश्चन पेपर जब मिलता है तो आपको भी पता है किस तरीके से मिलता है वन वन क्वेश्चन एंड द ऑप्शन एंड आंसर डिफरेंट वे तो सम वन हैज क्लिक द पिक्स एंड सेंड इट टू मी देन आई हैव पुट इट टू सम वन टू टाइप इट तो ये मिरर स्टेज है दैट इज बिटवीन द इमेजनरी एंड सिंबॉलिक फाइन दैट इज मिरर स्टेज इमेजनरी स्टेज एंड सिंबॉलिक स्टेज के बीच में कौन सी होती है मिरर इमेज इन विच अ चाइल्ड यूज टू सी एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम इट्स आई एंड लाइक ही स्टार्टेड कॉपिंग एवरीथिंग वट समन इज डूइंग ही स्टार्टेड डूइंग इट वट समन इज सेंग ही स्टार्टेड कॉपिंग इट दैट इज द स्टेज ऑफ मिररिंग गॉट इट got it first stage is symbolic then is mirror third is imaginary or real you can say okay in which they started imagine imagining imagination by encountering the real one which one of the following is the definition of peer review hmm. evaluated for the quality by the in this field yes that is peer reviewed now 23rd match the following novelist and the works Lawrence Stern Henry Fielding Francis Burnett Daniel Defoe batao i can see there <laughs> Lawrence Stern William uh, Lawrence Stern is of William Taylor no is Robert Dodsley three is the answer aise questions aate hai na jahan pe bilkul kuch na ho wahan pe waise bhi three maar diya karo option mein <laughs> I already gave you this tip, na? Okay. From uh, from among the following, identify the two characters. Statement in Johnson's criticism of Shakespeare. Uh, from among the following, identify the two correct statements. Okay. His Athenians are not sufficiently Greek, and his kings are not completely royal. He sacrifices virtues to convince, is and is more careful to please than in, to instruct. He adheres to restrict chronology and gives to one age or nation only its own customs and opinion. He sacrifices reason, property, and truth to pursue even a poor and barren quibble. So, what are the because I think A and B and D. He sacrifices virtues. That is what is being said by. Uh, Johnson for Shakespeare that he sacrifices virtues to convince and is more careful to please than to instruct. Right, that is true. Yeah. That he wanted to earn money. Then he sacrifices reason, property, and truth to pursue even a poor and barren quibble. Quibble. Those two cannot. Yes. His Athenians, though we cannot question his characters because they are totally royals and uh, of statuses. He adheres to strict chronology. No, he never. Right? So it's four. What is euphemism? अब ये तो मैंने बहुत बार बोला था अपने मुंह से. Exalting and grand style. हाँ. Adulatory style of yes. Eulogical and adulatory style of writing is like very pleasing and a uh, cheesy one. Opposite to euphemism. Yes. He that is not with us is against us. He that is not against us is with us. Who said this? Yes. Now sixty-six past. Yes, and that is of anime. ये भी ध्यान रखना. It is of anime. Which of the following poem? Poem by Thomas Hardy was originally titled by Sanchez's Deathbed. The the darkling thrush. Yes. What does? Harlem Renaissance uh, refer to literature. 
that is about the American African literature in 1920s and 30s. It was started in the Harlem state of US and that was in this renaissance or in this revolution, the black people started establishing their publication houses to avoid the rejection of white people for their biographical or um, black writings. Yeah. So, which of the following combinations correctly defines the phonological system of Indian English in relation to standard English? Absence of aspirated consonants, simplified vowel system, similar international pattern, presence of voiced aspirant consonants. Presence of, yeah that is true, uh, there is presence of voiced aspirant consonants. We are speaking all the consonants in a proper way and second is simplified vowel system. Yes, that is 2 is the answer. Okay, which among the following cluster matches the prose style that comes to uh, be known as Carly, uh, sorry, Carlyle is. That is in the style of Carlyle, Thomas Carlyle. So, what is being uh, called as Carlyle is? Capital letter, exclamation mark, phrase in German. Question mark, long sentence, phrase in French. What he was fan of? Tell me. No. Carlyle was a fan of German. Okay, though he talked about French Revolution, but he was a fan of Germans. So, we have done 70 questions today and after that I will take tomorrow. Okay, and uh, I after completing it, I, we will take another question paper like 19 ka jo bhi second question paper I will take that. And uh, till then all the best and I will share both the papers to your groups uh, by morning. Okay. Most welcome. So Most welcome. Nice, Good night and be be present on, on time. 7.30 means uh, I used to share the link by 7 and I have asked the people to join it after 15 minutes so that I will be able to share it in all the groups. So, whosoever wants to join, please do join it on time. Okay? Yes, because uh, today even people were... Uh